Hey, she too. What's going on? Happy Friday. It's Jamin, and tonight we are going to fact check you, Nike. Yes, you are on the chopping block. Now, here's what here's what I'm talking about. Okay, we are being charged $150 for a shoe that is typically $110 to $120. The reason why we're being charged that is because Nike says on the sneakers app that this shoe is made of premium, pristine materials. Pristine. If you're using the word pristine, this right here better be like diamonds or something. I mean, it better look fantastic, okay? So we're gonna fact check Nike. We're gonna unbox this shoe. We're gonna look at it and we're gonna compare it to four other shoes that I have in the collection that I only paid $110 to $120 for and see if indeed Nike did put pristine materials on this or if they BS'd us and took 30 bucks from us. So, hey, it's Jamin again. Thanks to everybody. You guys have been subbing to the channel. We're almost at 600. And for you guys that have been around for a while, y'all know we do something special on the channel for every 100 subs. So we may get there in this video. Uh, so any, everybody that has subbed to the channel recently, thank you very much. I'm much appreciative. And if you're watching this video and you've seen the channel for the first time, I'd be very thankful if you did sub to the channel. Help support us, help us to grow. Let's get into the video right here. This is the Air Force One Low Retro. Colorway is white, chocolate, metallic gold. Size is 11, okay? Now, brief history, I did do some reading up on this shoe. I like to give you some guy, guys a little bit of story and background on the shoe. This is the Air Force One, it came out in 1982. In 1984, this shoe was on the verge of going extinct, or this silhouette, the Air Force One. And so there were some shops, from my understanding, in Baltimore that made a deal with Nike to continue selling this shoe, but they wanted to release it in different colorways, okay? And so they call this shoe the color of the month. And from my understanding, Baltimore, those shops in Baltimore helped revive the Air Force One and continue uh, with its legacy today, right? So thankful for those shops that kept it around because I'm a big Air Force One fan. You guys know I love my Jordans. I love, I, I love shoes, period. So I think shoes are art, but yeah. So these OGs in Baltimore supposedly kept this shoe alive. Now, New Yorkers, I know you're glad that they did because the Air Force One is big on the East Coast, right? Uh, not saying they're not big everywhere, they are the worldwide, but they're huge on the East Coast here in the US. So this shoe, again, pristine material supposedly. Let's take a look at it and see. Got this Nike wax paper right here. I wonder, you know, when I box my other, the, the mids, the uh, alligator, kind of skin mids or whatever, the black ones. It had this same paper. I wonder if this is like an OG anniversary paper or something. Like I said, this is the 40th anniversary of Nike. They came out in 82, it's 2022 of the Air Force One. So there they are guys, here it is. Bada beam, bada bam, bada boom. And these guys look nice. These look nice. Oh, okay. See, Nike, did you just make me pay $30 for a toothbrush? Since 1982, got that swoosh. So hey, nice little thing you can put on your keychain if you're out to eat with your girl or something, you got something stuck in your teeth, you can just turn around real quick, scrub your teeth, I don't know. <laughs> hey, there's the tech that's in the shoe if you guys wanna pause that and take a look and read it. Uh, so I like how Nike threw the little extras on it, but I do not think that that's worth 40 bucks. So is the leather really that good? Let's get them both out of the box. We'll compare them. I'll give you a quick review. This is, again, the chocolate colorway. You've got the outsole right here, standard Air Force One outsole. It is in that chocolate brown. I think this is a nice shoe for the fall time. Again, that's why I went with colorway. They have released four of these, color of the months. Just FYI, they do have a triple white version. Version. They have a white and blue with the blue swoosh. They have a white with a red swoosh. And now they have the white with the chocolate swoosh. So again, I went with the chocolate. I think the blues are still out there if you guys are interested. I believe these are sold out. I went out and looked for them uh, like a few days ago and I didn't see them on the app, but I did see the white and blue. Uh, you may be able to find these in stores, I don't know. But you got your basic uh, midsole right here of your Air Force One. Do have Nike Air right there in chocolate. On the back, I really like how they did the backs of these. You've got that 80s font, Nike Air. That looks pretty sick in my opinion. I like the way they did that. And then your medial right here, you just have the swoosh. Uh, nothing nothing real big, right? Nothing huge, but you guys can tell, for, you, for any of you all that own Air Force Ones, you can kind of just look right now at the way that that leather texture is and tell that that's a pretty good cut of leather. Your swoosh is kind of a thick cut, 
y'all can see that. So yeah, I think they I think they did this right. I do think this is better material. We're gonna find out again. I'm gonna compare it. Let's look at your tongue real quick. You do have an extended tongue here. Nike Air, Air Force One. Again, anniversary edition written in gold cursive. Kind of gives it that luxurious look to it. Another cool con or thing about this shoe is you have the brown mini swoosh right here, the chocolate mini swoosh. Typically you get a lace Dubray on your Air Force Ones. But this, this version right here, the anniversary edition, you do have that mini swoosh there. Getting around to your insole, your insole is in that chocolate brown and with the white Nike Air, and then you've got your basic Air Force One uh, sock liner right here. Again, I go with a size 11, I go a half a size down because Air Force Ones tend to fit me a little big. But yeah, go out and try them out. If you have not ever owned a pair, go to your local mall. Air Force Ones are sitting everywhere. I don't know about this colorway, but you know you can try on a pair and see how they fit you. Now, for the moment of truth, did Nike pull one a, pull, like pull a fast one on us or not? Let's check it out. The first shoe I'm gonna compare it with is the Air Force One Sun Club 110. What's the retail? This guy right here has like a tumbled leather, but I'll be honest with you, it's not that great of a leather. Now. Did I wear this shoe a lot this summer? Absolutely. This was actually my most worn shoe of the summertime this year. I love this shoe, but the leather is not the best quality. It's soft now because I've worn it so much, but it's actually stiff when it comes out of the box. And uh, yeah, this kind of tumbled leather right here is fake. I want to say this may even be synthetic leather. So, all right, so 0 for 1, this guy's still winning. Okay, this guy's still winning as far as the materials go. Next up, let's take a look at a Halloween shoe at Nike. Why do y'all do this? Why do y'all, please, somebody from Nike that works at Nike, if you're watching this video and you're probably not, but if you ever, somebody ever gets around to watching this video that works at Nike, that works in marketing, why in the world do you guys release Halloween shoes on the day of Halloween or after Halloween? That's like putting them on, you should be putting them on sale at that time if you ain't got, if you haven't got rid of them yet. I bought these, I think in like November, these were like re-released or something. And when they originally came out, it was like a few days before Halloween. Nobody had them on Halloween. So I haven't worn them yet. But anyway, this is the purple skeleton. You know, they have the white skeletons, the black skeletons, the orange skeletons, and the purples. And I can tell you right now, this leather right here blows this out of the water. This is a super stiff leather right here. This gonna crease, I mean, listen to that. It sounds like somebody's knocking on my front door. So yeah, 0 for two. This guy's still keen. Next up, now, this one has different materials. This has leather, but it also has canvas, and I absolutely love, this shoe's gorgeous to me. I don't know if it's this indigo color right here, but I absolutely love this shoe. And the leather quality on this is nice. I will say it is still a little like slick leather. It's not, it doesn't have as much of kind of that tumbled effect to it right there which this isn't even tumbled, this is just soft leather, period. Uh, and this is still a little more stiff, but it's it's nicer than both of those, I can tell you that. So this one's close, but still, Nike, you, so far you're doing us right, because again, that leather is nice on this guy. Is it $150 nice? I don't know, I'll answer that in a minute. Last but not least, let's compare it to these guys right here. These are, this is the uh, the Ken Griffey Juniors. Now, this to me is a super premium Air Force One from the stitching to like the baseball bat material used on the back here to the, you know, tumbled leather, the tumbled swoosh. You got some nice hairy suede around the eyelets. And yeah, see this guy right here, it, I mean, it's soft, but guys, I thought, I, I literally thought that this one, this shoe right here was gonna make me say, Nike, you ripped this off. But this is nice leather, but guys, I, this, this right here is still, this is nicer. This leather is actually a lot softer. Now, for the final verdict, do I think this shoe is worth $150? It depends on if you like Air Force Ones. I'm satisfied with it, but I will say this, I have seen dunks uh, released that are 100 bucks or $110 that have better leather than these guys. It's like Nike, I don't know I don't know how they come up with their quality. It's like it's weird because you can get one pair of dunks that are stiff or crazy like a pair of those and then you can get another pair of dunks for the same price that are like the best like shattered backboard quality leather. And I know everybody uses that as like a quality of leather. I heard the yellow taxis have really nice leather leather coming out. Hey, and I missed the shock drop on that. I, I saw it and I went for them, 
but I struck out. You get down, y'all. You guys get down in the comments. Let me know if you hit on the yellow taxis or if you already own them. How that leather is on those guys. But uh, yeah, I, I still think this is nice leather. I do think that they they still may be overcharged. I would say Nike. If you if you're listening, uh, let's cut the the thirty bucks out for the toothbrush, and let's take these guys back down to one twenty. All right. Or maybe just do 125 and charge us five bucks for the toothbrush because this is a cool little little addition to the shoe. I really like it. But hey, hey, thanks for uh, for spending your time with me tonight on this Friday evening. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And again, if it's your first time stopping through and you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Join the family over here. Uh, with that being said, much love to you all. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace. It's Jamin, and I'm out.